Hey Leo, it's CJ here. Welcome to my channel and welcome to your September 2022 general reading. I hope you're doing really well and thank you so much for all your support of my channel and of what I do. I truly appreciate you. All right, Leo, let's just get into your reading. We're going to open up with getting a major arcana. This will be energy that you can work with or that will be around you for the whole month of September. And then we'll get a Celtic cross, all right? So let's begin. All right, Spirit, show me clearly what messages you have for our beautiful fire sign, the Leo. Leo the lion, what's going on for them for September? All right, we just got out of your season. Now we're in Virgo season. So let's see what's waiting for you. All right, show me clearly. What message do they need to have? This one, thank you. Wow, we have the universe. This is huge, Leo, because this is the world in traditional tarot. Some huge cycle, it's closing up this month. Wow, this is, ins this is insane is almost what I heard. Um, not insane in a negative way. This is major change, major chapter ending for you. Uh, and so that a new life can begin. She is actually entangled in a snake here uh, in a beautiful way, though. It's like the support the the snake is supporting her and she is just going with it. So I feel there's a special message in here for you, Leo, for the month of September. Just go with it. Go with the flow. There is something that is needing to close out. Spirit is coming through to say that your time doing this Situa in this situation, in this career, in this, whatever it is, right? It's going to be different because I don't know exactly what's going on for each and every one of you as it is general reading. But they're asking you to just go with the flow. Allow things to happen as they're meant to happen. Allow chapters to close out because it is needed. It is absolutely needed because it's time for you to um, shed your skin as a snake does because you're moving on to bigger and better things. Okay, let's get into the Celtic Cross. I am using my Light Sears deck if you're interested. I do have all the decks listed below uh, in the description if you are so interested. All right, this is your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, let's see what's on the bottom. Well, we got the Six of Pentacles. This is speaking of some kind of um, equalness now, um, equal give and take, harmony, some kind of balance coming into your life. Okay, let's get into it. All right, Spirit, show me clearly. Celtic Cross, please. Leo, Leo, Leo. Wow. No, that's too many. So we're just going to shuffle. Show me when. Show me when to stop, please. Thank you, beautiful spirit guides, angels. Leo, September 2022. Okay. We are ready. We got a jumper here, too. Or seven of Pentacles. Isn't that interesting? We just had the Six of Pentacles. Now we have the Seven of Pentacles. You are taking stock this month. Um, you are really actually looking at life, and you are there's a there's a contemplation here that's going to be happening in September. I feel like this is more at the very beginning of September, but it's almost like you are looking at things. You're looking at the way you've been doing things. You're looking at your relationships. You're probably looking at your finances because it is Pentacles, and you're going hmm. Is what I have put out there enough? Um, am I going to get the return that I have put my energy into? Am I finally going to start receiving the blessings that I have been working hard for? I feel the answer is yes, because we did have the Six of Pentacles that was on the bottom of the deck. But this is um, extra energy, as I said. So I'm going to leave it here, and I'm going to pull the Celtic Cross, and then we'll see how it applies. All right, let's begin. All right, this is the center of the reading, Knight of Swords. Your challenge. Oh, this tower. This makes sense because there is something completing here. There's something that is getting stripped away out of your life because it is necessary so that you can actually head, I feel, in a different direction. Okay, past the lovers. Gemini's card. Okay. What is above you? What you're aware of? Ca cancer card. It's the chariot. What you are unaware of is High Priestess. Well, we've got three major arcanas here um, going around, plus the tower. This is this is um, this is going to be a major month for you, Leo. And I am not kidding around. All right, let's see what is your future. The star, Leo. I have to tell you, this is an incredible reading. You are completely surrounded by major arcana. Okay, advice from Spirit. Three of Cups. Outside influence, five of wands, hopes or fears, six of pentacles showing up again in your reading, 
and potential outcome. Wow, the Hierophant, another major arcana. Bottom of the deck, two of pentacles, followed by the knight of pentacles, followed by the four of wands. Okay. Yes, there is a major contemplation moment that is going to be happening for you either at the beginning of September, maybe all the way to the middle of September. There's something that you're really assessing here. For some of you, this could be about a relationship. This could be about a marriage because we have the four of wands under here um, and we have the Hierophant as the outcome. Uh, it could be you assessing like, do I really want to stay in this relationship anymore? Am I getting what I've been putting in? This could be about your career. It could be the same idea as do I want to stay on this road? Do I want to keep doing the same job? Is it satisfying to me? Is it fulfilling me? Where am I at? There's contemplation going on here. So when we get into the actual Celtic cross, your position, the center of this reading is the Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords is the fastest sword in the deck. He is taking charge. He is moving forward fast to what he really wants to acquire here. So again, in love, in finances, you know, could be in any kind of relationship, right? Um, but there's something you are really wanting to shift and change here. The thing is, is Leo, I feel like you are wanting to kind of stay in a bit of control, which is absolutely makes sense, right? I mean, you're Leo, you're fire. You really have a beautiful uh, disposi disposition of yourself. You normally really do go after what it is that you want. There's some hesitation here, though, that I'm picking up, that there is a hesitation of um, I, it, what they're saying to me. It's like, you want it, but do you really, really want this? Because in order to receive what you are going after, you have to realize that there's going to be a major transformation. And are you prepared for that? Now, remember when we talked about the universe showing up here, the world, the energy, the message that Spirit was giving from giving to me to give to you, Leo, is that you've got to go with the flow here. Don't fight things. Um, don't try, at, if things are changing, which they are, don't, don't get in your own way. This is a necessary change that has to happen. This is a necessary cycle that needs to be closed out. So that is why the tower is coming in, in your challenge position, because there is going to be a huge shakeup somewhere in your life. The tower always comes in when things have gotten stagnant, when things are no longer going the way that um, it was you know, designed for you. And it has to come in because there has to be this huge shakeup, almost like an awakening that needs to happen here. Um, and, but it is about the transformation of you moving forward in a more beautiful way. But the thing is, it's not easy because when we're talking about the tower, it typically is something that will kind of shock us and knock us off where we feel safe, secure, right? And if we look at the butterfly, because there's four butterflies on this card, if we think about the butterfly, I just said this to another sign the other day, I um, can't remember who it was. It, Spirit gave it to me so clearly of like, look, you know, if you, t you know, we look at butterflies, right? And we go, oh my God, they're so beautiful. Like the monarch butterfly. Oh, well, there's so many beautiful butterflies out there. You look at them, you go, wow, they're just so beautiful and angelic, right? And, and butterflies are often a representation of spirit around us. But they didn't go, get there just easily. I mean, they started off as a caterpillar. And when they went into that cocoon, just think of the metamorphosis that had to happen to them, you know? And it was probably quite painful on some level, right? Um, because they're changing from one insect to another insect. Uh, and although it, we rarely kind of take the time to think about that, if you do, it's got to be painful. It, there's got to be a lot of um, just energy there that is somewhat difficult. But at the end of it, you then are this beautiful butterfly that is able to fly around freely, right? So I th the reason they're giving that to me again here is because it is really important for you to not lose faith, lose hope, in that if something comes in that is really shocking, that shakes things up, to just understand or at least try to accept that this is part of the process. This is part of your growth. This is part of your transformation here on this planet. And the easier you can go with the flow, the more softer the tower will be for you. Okay, so now we look at the past. We have the lover's card, Gemini's card. This could really be, oh my God, did we really just pause here? Okay, Leo, um, my camera has just frozen. I'm going to just pause this and come back, but we're going to leave it just like this. Okay, one second. <laughs> 